everybody welcome back to my channel delightful creations I'm Amber and today I have a project share for you guys I have been working on making little bits and pieces for my junk journaling and I went ahead and I die cut a whole bunch of different shapes and I've been storing them inside of my tin here um, so I've got some tickets out of different cardstock and scrapbooking paper that I have and then I made some stamps, some small square ones, and then I made some longer rectangle stamps. I also have a couple of different shaped scallops, another size of a stamp. Uh, let's see here, I've got some hearts. I've got these cute little like pennant things, um, label, I don't know what you call those. I've got some more of those scallops, just a bigger one. And so what I did is I cut a whole bunch of these things out of my pretty different papers. And then I went and I stamped on some of them, like this one says Beyond Bless here, and then there's a small little flower in the corner. This one has a whole bunch of teeny tiny little hearts all over it. Let's see if I can find any other ones that I've stamped on. I think I tried to go through here. It's another one. It says a door with a coffee cup and a heart. I tried to go through here and pull out all the ones that I stamped on, and obviously I missed those few there. But I've got this whole big bucket here. Oh, here's another one. It says Dream Big with some inking around the edge. So what I did is I started out with that as being step one. Oh, I have some little birds. I love these birds. I've used a lot of them up right here out of music paper. Super cute. So that's what I did as step one. And then after I was done stamping, like I spent... Mm, probably five days all together stamping and everything inside this little box once that step was done I did the rest of the stamping and I added my pretty little jewelry bits so I'm just gonna dump this out and I'm gonna share some of them with you give you something pretty to look at while I talk about it so I wanted to try and make um, some pretty things here for my junk journal so like this one I embossed a coffee cup on top of the heart. So super simple, but it adds just a little bit of extra detail. Let's see if I can get close enough here. You guys can kind of see that there. The shimmeriness, it's uh, silver. Um, and then I've got some other ones here, like this bird out of this beautiful paper. I just um, clear embossed it, and it gives it more of a, it turned the paper thicker, and it actually made this teal a lot darker. I don't think I have any in here that are not embossed. I think I've, yep, I've already used them all. So I can't show you the color difference, but that's that one. And then on other ones, I did double them up because they were a little bit thin and I wanted a thicker one. And then I added a cute little eyelet down here in the corner. And let's see, here's another one. This one is a ticket. It is heat embossed stamped. I added an eyelet and this is the only one that I made that's double sided. So this one has cherish and hearts and the other side has my coffee cups and beans. And then I added a dangly bit to it. So this one will be able to hang off of um, a page. I'll be able to add a little clasp to the top of it here. And then I have a little key, heart key on there. So that took a long time just to make this one. Um, so some of them I decided to leave blank with just, just the eyelet. I thought that was just a cute little touch there. And then if I wanna come back later, I can add some dangly bits off of it. And also at the time that I made these, I only had silver charms and silver ringlets and stuff. I don't have any of the aged bronze or anything like that. This one I tried to use that embossing powder on that really thin um, music paper on that stamp. So this and this one are the same thing. I just uh, embossed it and it made it a lot thicker but it made it kind of snowy and blurry. I didn't really like the effect of that one. This one here has a rub on on there. I just rubbed it on and then I added a cute little eyelet in the corner. A dangly bit says made with love and added a couple little bead charms. So I've been having a lot of fun making a whole bunch of these. I also went ahead and I made some framelits. That's what I call them, framelits. And so I made them go different ways. Let's pull out a few of these framelits. So I've got this one that has a background paper with this beautiful pink floral uh, flourish on the side here. And then I inked it up with a little bit of purple just to bring out the purple up here in the corner. And then on this one, you can turn it this way, you can turn it this way, this way, or even on the top corner. You don't have to have it on the same left side corner. I made one vellum one. I thought that would be kind of a neat idea to make a vellum one. And then I can take a piece of scrapbooking paper like this if I want to and put it in the background on a journal page if I want or whatever. Super cute. Uh, let's see here. Here's another one. And I actually, this was an accident. There's a cute little flower in here that I made go this way. And then this floral piece actually ended up ripping in half. So I just added this beautiful um, pink and glittery inked up 
bird on the corner and it hides that and it kind of looks like it's carrying maybe like a ribbon in its mouth. I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. So that was an accident that I that I fixed. <laughs> um, let's see here. Here's one I did with music paper. So obviously the music notes go this way. Oh, I guess there is another vellum one. So there's two vellum ones and there's one clear acetate. Um, there, there is a acetate inside here. So that'll be really fun to play with. I think I have like 10 different frames. There's another floral one. And this one I had one tiny scrap left. Actually two. I see another one over here. Whoop. Two tiny scraps left of that pretty Prima paper. And this one I decided to go in the left corner and that one I did on the upper right. And then I added a charm down here of grapes. Um, because when I think of purple, I think of purple grapes. So that's kind of fun. Let's see here. I've got a couple other ones I've in, um, not, yeah, embossed. I clear emboss them over the stamping and it makes the stamping stand out more. Um, and then other ones I just left plain with the stamping on there. But maybe I added a charm. Like this one has a really pretty pearl on it. So I'm not sure how I'm going to use all these pretty pieces up, but I just wanted to share them with you. This is also one of my favorites. It is a ticket. This one is double thick. It says latte. There's a cup, a teacup, and a plate in the background with some uh, coffee beans. And then on the side here is a little heart. Um, I just love my coffee. <laughs> so that's why I did that one. And this one here says adore, and it has a cute little bird on there. So yeah, this, this whole project from beginning to cut the pieces out over here to inking, to stamping, and then um, doing the heat embossing, and then finally adding eyelets and jewelry. This was a week-long project, so that's how many I got done, and then I decided that's enough because it filled up my box, and um, I don't need to make any more than what I can use at a time, so I stopped. But yeah, I just wanted to share this project with you guys. I hope it inspires you um, to get creative and start making something that um, you'll enjoy using in your future. Alrighty, well, thanks for stopping by, guys. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye for now.